Hello everyone, so I've tried filming this video three times already in the last month. It, I just can't seem to condense it and make it any shorter than it is. And there's just so much to share. It's such a long-winded story. Um, I'm going to do my best to condense it and make it as fluent as possible. But the problem is it's very mismatchy. So it's going to be very difficult. But this is just my story, sharing my experience of eating gluten and dairy and what that did to me and I'm just going to share them with you and I'm going to start right now. So, um, it all started back when I was about, let's say about 11, 10 or 11 years old and I got my first ever migraine attack. Um, I'd always had headaches throughout my whole childhood. It didn't seem that weird, I'd always just had headaches. My mum and grandmother always had headaches so it just seemed like it was something that ran in the family. Um, my mum suffered from terrible migraines when I was a child so it just made me think fine, I'll probably get them too one day. I got my first bad headache when I was 11 years old. It was what I would call a migraine. It lasted for about a week. Um, I remember it was really, really bad. It was the first time I got the migraine where it felt like poison in my forehead. If anyone has a migraine, you know, everyone has them differently, but this is how it feels to me. It's just like my whole forehead is poisoned. I had that kind of migraine for a week. I remember I went to the doctors and he just said it was a migraine. Um, no paracetamols, ibuprofen or anything really took the headache off. It just had to go in its own accord. Um, I had headaches frequently throughout my childhood after that. And then I got another bad migraine when I was about 13, then maybe about 14, 15. And they just continued on kind of like a yearly basis. Um, sometimes I got migraines for a day here and there. You know, migraines just became a, a common part of my teenage years really. Um, and then when I got to about 17, 18, it started to get a little bit worse. My migraines were much more common, they would last for more days, they would be more painful. Um, it started to feel more like pressure headaches too and I'd get them around the side, but they were always on my forehead. I always knew it was a migraine because it was like poison on my forehead. These migraines like continued throughout basically my late teens. Um, and then something really different happened. Um, it wasn't just the migraines, but I, I must have turned about 20 at this point. It was just around the time I'd started university. And um, I started to suffer with a lot of irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, um, which is fine. I got diagnosed with IBS. That's what the only thing the doctor could diagnose me with. Um, you know, I just got a lot of bloating, stomach aches, just everything that IBS basically comes under. I pretty much suffered from a lot of those things. Um, and it was just, you know, it was considered separate from my migraines. I just, as far as the doctors were concerned, I had IBS. Alongside this IBS symptoms, I received like stabbing pains in my sides. And well, not only stabbing, but I received them in both sides, but mostly in my right side. I also experienced things like spasms. I guess they're called bowel spasms. At least that's what the doctor told me they were. And also things like, like when you feel like you have a stitch, a pulled muscle. I just had all those kind of feelings as well around my stomach. An abdomen area. Um, along with this, my periods have always been extremely irregular. Um, sometimes I'll miss a month, I'll miss two months. Sometimes my periods will be like 58, 59, 60 days apart. That's always been a common thing for me as well. This started to get worse around that time as well. Um, so, you know, I started to have all these kind of digestive problems, um, all these abdomen problems. I had an x I had an ultrasound done on my abdomen. The only thing they found was some small gallstones, which they didn't really think was related at all. Um, everything else seemed fine. Um, I had also an ultrasound done, you know, looking at my ovaries and stuff. Once again, it all came fine. I had some blood tests done to test me for intolerances and allergies and stuff. Nothing came up. I had my thyroid tested. I had myself tested for celiac. It just come back as fine. I just kind of went on, you know, with my life after that and just kind of... I didn't take the prescribed medicine for IBS because I just didn't... I'm not really a big fan of taking medicines anyway. Like, I'll take, like, drugs if I have to. But usually I like to find alternative natural ways around things. So I just kind of took some peppermint capsules and I just kind of dealt with it in my own way. Um, yeah, basically. So alongside that, um, you know, within a few months, um, my migraine started to progress worse. So one day I was walking... I was in a bookshop and I was looking at the pages of a book and when I was trying to look, read the writing on the book, um, right in my vision it was all very blurry. I was really confused as to why every time I tried to focus on an area of the book 
it was just really blurry. So I kind of just, I felt a bit weird, so I thought, you know what, I said to Angie, let's just go home please, because I feel a bit weird, everything's looking really blurry. So as I started to walk down the street, and I was looking directly in front of me, there was just a round circle in my vision that was blurry. Eventually this round circle just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and within about a couple of minutes it was taking over my whole vision. So my whole vision was blurry. And, uh, and then a few minutes later I started getting lots of zigzag lines, black and white and colourful zigzag lines just down my left side of my vision and they kind of took over the left side and along the bottom as well. I kind of knew what it was, I knew it was like a migraine aura, my mum used to get them so I just figured oh, now I've started getting auras, great, <laughs> but didn't think much of it because like I said my mum got them. Um, so I just, I was kind of disappointed, but I figured it was just something that happens. Um, and I got these migraine auras, you know, a few times after that, maybe a few months apart, um, a few weeks apart, sometimes I'd just get random auras within my migraines. Um, so alongside all of this, and all these IBS and digestive problems, um, I started to get even worse headaches. I remember once I was at my friend's house, and I felt like there was a band crushing my head, like there was a band being pulled tight around my head and it's being crushed. Um, I remember I woke up the next morning, the band feeling was still there, and um, for the next couple of weeks my head felt like it was crushing. Eventually that passed, a few weeks later it felt like I had a different sensation, it felt like my head was exploding. It felt like it was just absolutely exploding, it was so strange. So not only was I getting all these migraines with auras, I also started getting tension headaches. And once again, no ibuprofen, paracetamol, anything that I could take helped me. I went to the doctors and she prescribed me with some amitriptyline, um, which is an antidepressant. Um, I didn't take the antidepressant um, because I didn't want to take antidepressants for migraines. Um, I know that these antidepressants can help with migraines, but antidepressants are addictive and I wasn't depressed. Um, I have nothing against people taking antidepressants, but they weren't for me. Um, I wanted to get to the root cause of these migraines or decide how to fix them. I didn't want to take antidepressants that could, I don't know, do something to me emotionally. There was a lot of side effects involved with them and a lot of harmful ingredients in them that I didn't want to put in my body. I just didn't want to take them, so I didn't take any of them. I just kind of kept dealing with it in my own way. Um, and this thing has got progressively and progressively worse. I went from these different kinds of headaches to getting them all combined so there was one time when my head felt like it was crushing, exploding, everything, you know, I had the aura and the migraine pain in my forehead all at once. Um, it got to the worst when I was, I was bed bound for two weeks. Not only did I have these immense headaches where my head just felt like it was exploding. It was the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. Um, I couldn't get out of bed because every time I tried to stand up it felt like I was falling over. I felt very dizzy, I started to experience vertigo. Um, it got to the stage where every time I stood up, like no matter what, this was a continuous occurrence. Um, for months on end I had this problem continually. I just stand up and I'd feel like I was falling, I'd feel like I was spinning. Um, all my strength was there, I could walk fine unaided, but the problem is, emotionally and physically, I felt like I was either sinking into the ground, spinning around, uh, I felt like I was walking on water, or a bouncy castle, or a waterbed. Every time I walked it was like I was just bouncing. It was the weirdest thing in the world. I have no clue why this was. All I can describe it as is vertigo. Um, it was really strange. Um, so I received all of these problems, um, as well as I'd be laying down or sitting down, I'd feel like I was being pulled and crushed into the chair. Um, and it just got to the stage where I was just getting all of these headaches, these tension pains, you know, my head felt like it was exploding, I was getting a migraine, my vision was blurry, I had auras here, my hearing started to go really soft and quiet, and I wasn't able to walk because I felt like I was always walking in water and bouncing, and it was just the strangest thing, I didn't know what, what on earth was happening to me. You know, alongside this, I also had all these digestive problems, and it was just an absolute nightmare, and this went on for months and months, I'd say a good six, seven months. I visited my GP every week. Every week I went to see my GP. I also booked emergency appointments when things were really bad. Alongside these symptoms, I was also feeling terrible dehydration, and then I started to, you know, regardless of the amount of water I drank, I was just dehydrated all the time. On top of that, I started to get tre tremors, so I'd be trembling all the time. I didn't know why, but my body was always shaking, I was always trembling. 
Um, I just felt the worst I've ever felt in my life and this was during a time when I was at university studying really hard and it was really really affecting my grades. I had a lot of extensions on projects but the problem is because I wasn't diagnosed with anything um, my lecturers were great but they you know they couldn't help me as much as they could have if I'd had a diagnosis. I continued to go to my doctors, I told them all of these problems that my doctors tried to separate all of these problems so they treat the migraines, they treat the IBS, they treat the trainers, everything they treat is separate, they didn't group it together, which I can understand because there was a lot. So some of the things that I found frustrating when going to my GP was that I had to take a notebook with me and a list of all my problems. Um, all the symptoms I've just mentioned in this video is probably only half of what I did experience. It was a year and a half, two years ago and I've forgotten about a lot of it. There was a lot of symptoms, more than what I've just mentioned. I've just mentioned the key problems here. Um, but it was worse. There was a whole load of problems that I had experienced during the time that I was going up through my worst symptoms. So, you know, I gave my doctor a whole list of, of symptoms and he used to photocopy them and put them onto the computer. Um, so, you know, every time I went to see my doctor, I told him or her every symptom that I had. Um, I told them what I was doing, what I was trying to do to help my symptoms. To be honest, they, they couldn't diagnose me, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Um, they took blood tests, they checked my thyroid, they did me a gastroscopy where you put a camera down your throat, um, they did x-rays, ultrasounds, they couldn't find out what was wrong with me. I wanted to see a neurologist uh, because I figured that a neurologist was probably going to help me best with my head problems. Um, but the, di the doctors just diagnosed me with anxiety. So basically the only diagnosis I was ever given was um, you have IBS and you have migraines and due to this you are getting anxiety which is creating anxiety attacks. The trembling, the dizziness, the vertigo, they assumed was related to the anxiety. So for a while I started to believe them and I thought, oh my god, I probably got really bad anxiety. It was still something that didn't feel right. I didn't think I had anxiety. I've never in my life suffered from any mental health problems. And I didn't I felt fine in my head, apart from the migraines and the vertigo and everything else. I felt mentally and emotionally okay. I felt quite stable, you know, I was still trying to get on my work. I was doing as much as I could while handling all of these awful symptoms. I just didn't feel like it was right, but I did what I could. So I went to see some wellbeing cat specialists at my university that really helped me find some mindfulness courses. Um, I read lots of books on mindfulness, on stress, how to str cope with stress. I did lots of meditation, lots of yoga. Um, you know, I did my best to try and overcome this anxiety that I was diagnosed with. Um, and it just, nothing was going away, things were just getting worse and worse and worse. I tried going vegan, I tried cutting out processed foods, um, I tried going on a juice cleanse, I tried a whole load of stuff and I got a whole load of herbal supplements to try and help me get over these problems. I took ashwagandha, hops, passion flower which are all known to help with anxiety and depression and mental health. I took peppermint capsules, peppermint complexes, fennel, um, I took a whole lot of stuff for digestive systems, aloe vera, um, colon cleanses, I did a whole bunch of stuff that could try and help me and nothing worked. Sometimes I would feel okay in the day but I always had at least five of the so many symptoms there. So I was never without symptoms and you know my head was always, I always felt the dizziness and the vertigo and I was also always feeling very tired, fatigued, my energy levels were going down, I had to stop doing any working out, I had to stop my aerial, I couldn't go for walks. It got to the stage where it was starting to emotionally affect me. I was terrified of going to uni on my own because I felt like I was just falling over all the time, I couldn't walk properly, I was afraid I'd get a terrible headache, migraine attack just while I was out on my own. I was starting to think about the future, I was thinking do I want, am I going to have to have a future like this? I was afraid of being able to get a job when I graduate in uni, I, I was questioning how am I supposed to have a job even when I'm stood at a till serving people, how am I supposed to get a regular job just on my own with all of these symptoms, it was absolutely terrifying thinking about the future and 
I didn't know how I was supposed to handle it or get through it and I just didn't know what was going on. I really needed help. I changed two practices and went through three GPs during this time because I just wasn't receiving any help whatsoever and it was so frustrating. And I understand that the doctors did a lot for me, they did lots of tests, they couldn't find anything. So I was just at a complete loss, I was giving up on the doctors, I was giving up on finding a way to cure any of my problems. Um, and then my mum randomly came across um, basically a long lost cousin who is living in New Zealand and she was happened to be visiting the UK. And um, I'm not going to talk a lot about her because it's her personal story and I don't know if she wants to be on the internet. Um, but she had suffered from a lot of symptoms that are similar to mine and I'm not going to talk a lot about her story because it's personal to her but she made me think. She's been through a lot of things that are similar to my, me and um, it just made me think that maybe I can follow some of her advice and, you know, try and cure myself, find a way of dealing with it the way she dealt with her problems. I'm not going to lie, it was getting to the stage where I was very concerned that I had a really bad illness. I had no clue what was wrong with me. I was getting very worried, you know, about all of these problems and why they were being caused. I knew there must be a root cause for what was happening to me and I just didn't know what. I met up with this cousin of mine in London um, and we had a nice conversation, you know, the whole family was there so I didn't go much into my health problems at the time. I did message her on Facebook and I asked her to give me some advice. She just told me to change my diet, to cut out yeast, gluten and dairy. She said that that is what she would recommend and that is what helped her. So I basically followed this cousin's advice and I just stopped eating gluten and dairy and I just cut out my diet from that day forward. And um, this is going to sound really crazy but literally within two days all of my symptoms were gone. I no longer had bloating, I no longer had any IBS symptoms at all, I no longer had any headaches, my dizziness, vertigo, tiredness, the crushing head feelings, the auras, the blurry eyes, everything just went. Literally, a couple of days, after two days, all my symptoms were gone and I was absolutely astonished. And this was not placebo effect because I tried so much and if placebo effect was going to fix me, I'm sure it would have fixed me already. I'm sure that the ashwagandha, the passion flower, the meditation, the anxiety, Everything I did to try and cure my anxiety that I was diagnosed with that I don't think I had. I, I did everything to try and fix that. I took peppermint capsules, I took colon cleanses, I... Right, my cat's just about to fill up so I'm going to be really quick. But yeah, as I said, I tried everything. I tried mindfulness, meditation, prescribed medicine, herbal medicine. I tried everything and absolutely nothing worked. The, after just a couple of days of cutting gluten and dairy out of my diet, I literally felt normal again. For the first time in about a year and a half, I felt normal. I felt like a normal human being, I felt like I could function normally, and I could just, I felt alive again. I was just, you know, the headaches had stopped, the migraines had stopped, the blurred visions had stopped, the dizziness, the vertigo, the IBS, everything had stopped. Of course, I still had relapses every now and again, I still got a headache here and there, I still felt, you know, some IBS issues now and then, but generally, everything was fine, and I was so happy, so over the moon. Since that day I have not touched gluten or dairy, not once. Um, it's it's shocking that just changing my diet really did take away all of those symptoms. Um, I'm still absolutely blown away and still to this day I am so thankful and so grateful for my health. It was a real wake up call um, going through all of those health problems. I was always a healthy child and to go through such terrible, terrible pro problems. Another thing I didn't mention is I got a lot of bad acid reflux. My skin was awful, my nails were awful, my hair was awful. I was just overall so unhealthy. I'd feel another few symptoms that I used to get was my legs would get really itchy, um, my legs would feel dead. I'd get shooting pains shooting through my left arm, my left leg. I'd get stabbing pains in my chest. Um, you know, I got a whole bunch of problems and it really was a wake up call for me. Ever since I've had my health back, I've been so, so happy, so over the moon and I still genuinely think back to that time when I was so ill and I'm, I'm so grateful now. I smile every day knowing how healthy I am and being so thankful for my health. It could have been a whole lot worse. 
I could have, you know, never found a way to cure my problems and I, I did, I managed it and I'm so, so thankful that all it took was changing my diet to fix all of my problems and, you know, I could have had to be on medication for life, I could have never been able to fix it, some people have a chronic illness that just stays with them forever. Sorry, I keep having to sort my card out, it keeps filling up. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, if anyone is suffering from any of the problems that I was suffering from, whether it just be IBS or whether it be migraines, vertigo, tiredness, fatigue, whatever, anxiety, just get it looked into. Um, do your best to ask your doctor to test you for celiac, gluten intolerance and all of that stuff. Unfortunately, all of my Gluten intolerance and celiac tests came back negative. Um, don't know why. The doctors don't know why. Um, it was probably because at the time I was trying lots of different things. I was doing, you know, like I said, I tried to go vegan. I tried juice cleanses. Maybe at the time that I had my blood test taken, I didn't have enough gluten or dairy in my system. Who knows? And so I have been to the doctor since trying to get a diagnosis. And the doctors have diagnosed me as gluten and dairy intolerant. Um, but We'll never know if it's just gluten that causes the problems, or just dairy. Um, I have not been brave enough to reintroduce either into my diet since. Um, when you go through problems that severe and it just affects you that much, you don't really want to try and eat those things again to see which one it was. Um, I don't, I'm glad I don't eat dairy anyway, I don't support the dairy industry and I don't miss dairy at all. So, I'm happy to not have dairy, and as for gluten, good riddance, I don't want to eat any of that again either. Um, after all the problems I went through, the idea of eating those just revolts me. Um, if anything at all, will have a slight chance of bringing back what I was going through, I won't even risk it. Um, another thing that I went through, which I didn't mention, sorry I told you this would be a mismatchy, I had ulcers all the time. I've never had cold sores ever in my life, um, but ulcers, like those gross cuts inside your mouth or on your tongue, I had them all the time. In fact, for an entire year I was never without ulcers, like they'd be huge, huge ulcers, like in the middle of my mouth, on my lips, like on the inside of my lips, or on my tongue. It was the grossest thing, and I had ulcers all the time. It just became a continuous thing where I'd lose one and then I'd get a new one a day later. It was awful. Sometimes I'd have two or three at a time. So painful and so annoying. And um, they were another thing that totally went along with all my other symptoms. So absolute certainty gluten and dairy was the cause of my symptoms. And as you can tell, you know, I'm, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, I feel so healthy now. Like, sometimes I still get spots like this thing, but who doesn't? I mean, I, I feel great now, you know, I, I don't get the migraines, I haven't had a migraine in about two years and I'm so, so thankful for that. My digestive problems are so, so much better now, I, you know, sometimes I get bloating, that's about it. Um, I feel great now, I feel so great now, I'm so happy and healthy and just happy to have my health and just not having migraines is the, the worst, the best thing in the world. Um, just knowing that, you know, I can go outside and not be afraid of getting a random migraine aura is incredible. So, if anyone is suffering from any of those symptoms that I mentioned today, just have a go at cutting gluten and dairy out your diet and see if that could have done it. If not, be more firm with your doctor, you know, go see them continually and try and get an answer because sometimes symptoms like what I went through can be down to diet and Sometimes there are such simple ways of dealing with problems. If I'd have listened to my doctor the first time, I'd now be on antidepressants and probably still in a hell of a lot of pain. But yeah, I definitely don't think I ever had anxiety. I think that was just something the doctor diagnosed me with, or misdiagnosed me with, should I say. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end this video here because it's probably like half an hour long. Um, so I'm going to end this here, and thank you for watching if you watched the whole thing. Also share with me your stories, like let me know what symptoms of gluten and dairy caused you? Let me know how you discovered it was gluten and dairy. Did you get a simple diagnosis of the doctor? Did you have to eliminate foods? I'm still shocked that something as simple as food could have so dramatically made me ill. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this here before this video gets too long. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, I make new videos every Wednesday and Friday. 
um, and they usually help for fitness, lifestyle related. So I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.